Hi guys, and welcome to today's episode for the original Final Fantasy VII game. Today, where we well where we left off yesterday, we just went to the Gold Saucer, we had a little date with Tifa, and we managed to get the Keystone. However, he Seath betrayed us and gave that to Shinra. So today, we need to make our way south and find the ancient temple. And the aim of today is to get through that ancient temple, see what happens and all that. And for those that don't know, we have played this game before. It's a bit of a like nostalgia retro type feel that we go for on our Sunday, Monday, Tuesday games. So, you know, sit back, relax, crack on and get this temple done. Okay. So here we are. We just need to hop on our tiny Bronco. Our party members, can I, I can't look while I'm on the Bronco, is Cloud, Aerith and Tifa. Cloud and Tifa have all the level 3 limits, and Aerith does have a level 4 limit. And the place we're going, the little dot on the middle island to the far south. Not the right island, but the one... Oh, we're almost there, you'll be able to see it. This island just to the right here. This is the island that has the temple on. We need to get a beach. I think that's the closest beach. So if we hop off here. And we run across through the forest. There's the temple up there. Hello Avraz, how are you? Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to today's... Like the final episode this week of Final Fantasy VII. Today we're aiming to go through and do a place called Ancient Temple. Just up here in the forest, this is the temple. This will be the dungeon that we'll be tackling today. Today's stream. Here we go. For those who don't know, there's a Temple of the Ancients. Aerith herself, she is a descendant of the Ancients. She's sensing all the knowledge and stuff from the past coming through to her. What's it, Avaz? Uh, did I play all of the Final Fantasy games? There's... A couple that I haven't played. I haven't played any of the online ones. And I think we mentioned yesterday the, um, the one with Noctus. I haven't finished that one. I've started playing it, but I've never finished it. But all the early ones I've played all the way to finishing. I've even, like recently, I've just finished going through Stranger of Paradise as well. So I've played, yeah, I think other than the online ones, I've played some of every Final Fantasy game. I really enjoy it, like, the Final Fantasy ones. Obviously, did played the remake. Looking forward to the remaster coming out. I even played, like, Crisis Core. I think that was on the... I want to say it was either on the PSP or the Vita. I think it was the PSP. Okay, so into this temple we go. Seng. As you can see, Seng's been attacked, he's been hurt. Aye, uh, it is not the promised land Sephiroth is searching for. I think they finally realised Sephiroth is looking to destroy the planet, not save it. And now, obviously, with Kitsis yesterday betraying us, giving him the keystone. That thing that he threw is the keystone, which lets us get back into uh, get into this temple. And he walks to the side, and he dies. Seth Ross has gone insane. Yeah, he went. He started going insane. I think it was five years in the past. 
So we had a little flashback thing, and he went a bit insane in the past with um, when he found out. Like minor spoilers for anyone who's watching that don't, doesn't know or haven't seen that episode that we did a few weeks back. He went a bit insane when he found out he was a product of an experiment. The keystone goes in. That this all lights up, and it takes us down. Why did he? Uh, it's because when we went to Nibelheim, which was the town Cloud was from, we were investigating a reactor, and there, there was a... In the reactor, there was, like, a full lab, and inside, there were melding with makeup energy and cells from Genova. They were melding it into humans, and that's when he found out that's where he came from. And it kind of turned him a bit loony. Okay. Now, obviously, this place, for those that don't know, it's similar to like a painting by, I think it was Escher. So, like, crazy stairs going all around the place. We need to chase after that, but there's lots of items we need to get. We need to try getting the items. So, if we follow this round, we should be able to go down. No, uh, I'm trying to work out how we get there. Um, here. Or maybe not. Isn't Niflheim Noctis' enemy? It might be. Um, the place where it's from is uh, Nibelheim. I keep pronouncing it slightly wrong. Um, but yeah. What they tend to do, like a lot of the Final Fantasy games, a lot of the names and a lot of the... Like a lot of the names used throughout the games tend to be repeated all the way through. So it's why in the games you get a lot of characters, like Biggs and Wedges in all the games. You've got... Sid. Sid is present in all the games. Same with a lot of the summons and a lot of like places names. And they mix and match the stuff around. So once you played one Final Fantasy game, when you play another one, you'll start noticing a lot of names repeating. Head up, no. Yep, so we head up. Alright, so that's not a climb up. We must have to go down. Nos What's that? Nostalic. Nostalgic. Yeah. That's the type of thing like we like to do on this channel, you know. Lots of nostalgic stuff. But oh, trident. But yeah, but what you tend to like uh, uh, what you tend to find is a lot of the stuff is just like, except for a lot of the like main characters' names, the iconic names. Like a lot of the uh, like things tend to be present in everything. We need to find how do we get down there? How uh, we can go up here? We also have a stairwell over there. Goes up. Yep, we can go through here. Go down. One of the worst things here is trying to find yourself around because this place here is like a proper a proper maze. And you really want to like make sure you collect everything. What's that? This looks like a 2D map. Yeah, sort of. Uh, I see what you're on about. Because obviously it's like an overview look. Yeah, because it's hard to see the actual 3D look. That's what games were like back in the early 90s. And the worst part is trying to figure out, make sure you're going the right way. A rocket punch. At the minute, I'm trying not to follow that creature. I'm trying to. There you go. Trying to make ourselves around, 
So we can collect everything. We got materia there. There's an item just down from here. So we'll have to figure out how to get there. And another thing like these old old games, it's rare that you have like you've got a world map for like the big open world. But when you're in a dungeon, it's rare that the games have like a dungeon map. So a lot of times you would like, especially like really old games, you would have to like write stuff down, make sure you make like your own little map on pens and paper. What's that, Avraz? The creature might be the quest. Yeah, that little guy that's running around with the with the hat on. Got luck plus. Yeah, so the idea for this bit, we have to hunt round and capture that guy with the hat on. But I want to make sure I at least get all these items that you can see like lying around. Done that bit. I didn't want to go in there, so we'll pop back out. That's the one we have to go. There's an item up there. We need to somehow get round. We go back up. There was probably like a hidden tunnel. Come on, Cloud. Because one of the things in these games, like... A lot of times, once you come out of a dungeon, a lot of the dungeons you can't actually go back to. So it's one, it's something where you have to try your best to look around everywhere. And I don't like leaving like chests or um, or especially materia lying around. Plus, these bad guys are dying quite quick, so. They haven't been a they haven't been a problem at the minute. <laughs> okay. I think if we head back down here, there might be a passage at the back of this place, like here, or not. We can't figure out how to get there. It might actually be through where the guy's gone. We might have to go through there and there might be a passage in there. I mean, it is funny how they get transformed. Like, the frogs, when they hit people, they transforms them into little frogs. I mean, even in the remake, in the remake, you, I'm sure you can get transformed into... Aye, in the remake, you can get transformed into little frogs as well. Okay, but if we can't get through the back of this place here. Right, yeah, we can't. So there might be another passage to get in there. Like something that we come out of and then go through. Oh. Okay, so that one's sealed. We can carry on back round. Yeah, so obviously for that chest... We'd have to come out of that door there. So somewhere we have to work our way around and come out of that door. So there's probably something like through that passage where that, that other creature has just ran to. The one with the hat on. Again, with these creatures dying quick. We're not really overly, uh, overly worried that we could die in here. So from here we go down. What's that? There is a red crystal up. Whereabouts? Let's head up. Have a check. It might be something where we just can't get there yet though. Like with that chest down the bottom. I think I think we've covered most of the areas we can walk to.
Okay, there's nothing extra to walk there. I mean, it is the one... I would say that is the one thing that... The old games... Like, the new games have over the old games. A lot of times, it's a lot easier to navigate in new, newer games. Because you can recognise landscapes and doorways and stuff like that. But here, you look around and go, is there something, like, hidden behind the view? Like, behind somewhere? Come on, we should be able to kill these. They're only frogs. And then Cloud should finish that one off. I oh, know he's gonna get gonna get put to sleep and turned into a frog. I should really put on um something that stops us getting turned into frogs. But they look so cute, you know? <laughs> Come on. I am thinking that in order to get to where the chest is and all that, we probably do have to carry on through where it opened to where that little creature with the hat on was running away. Ah, is that everyone now asleep? Ah, the joys. And all we need is either someone to wake up or it to slap somebody. There you go. Go on, Cloud. Okay. You said you think there was a red crystal up here. Yeah, I don't think there's a passageway. I'm trying to look around to see. I think to get up there, we'll have to we'll have to go through the um this tunnel. It looks like the only tunnel that potentially could go there was the one that was sealed off. You know, we've got this. I'll do a little heal outside of battle, then we'll carry on. Go down, go through. Let's get the heal off. My assumption is to get those other bits. We are going to have to go through. Because looking around, I can't see anywhere that links up there. Um, we'll do another bolt because that seems to kill this straight away. Oh, it didn't kill it straight away. How oh, dare Tifa make me into a liar? Okay, so up here. And that bit there. So through here, through there. Yep. Yeah, so here. You've got these and you need to move across and get in these little gaps get morph and we go again yep damn it cloud okay now we carry on up come on cloud you're almost there there you go. Nice. Ooh, we did it. Yep, made it all the way down this corridor. We might be running back, you know, we've literally just made it down here. Ah, uh, you know. Now, why didn't she say something? We were already at this pool. 
You know what I mean? We literally just were there. Unless it only triggers because we've made it past those rolling um, boulders. It's full of knowledge of the ancients. Not knowledge. Consciousness. A living soul. Okay. So this swirly pool of glowiness is trying to speak to her. And All right, so apparently danger and evil consciousness. All right, gonna see what is his evil consciousness. Here we are. This is obviously there's Seng we saw when we first came in. Seng was worse for wear. So we know that obviously this the look in a bit of a past. Over there there's a lane. It was showing us what happened originally in here. Elena, sorry. Right. Uh, yep, can they find the promised land with all this all this information? Okay, so she's gone she's going off to report to the president. The problem is that then leaves Seng by himself down here. Oh look at that. About dinner, oh, he finally, he finally asked her, you know. Too bad. Oh, there's the music change. Ah, here he is. It's almost like he just appears from nowhere, isn't it? So say, arguably one of the coolest bad guys in most, like, in most computer games. All right, so he's explaining what this is. It's a lost, special house of knowledge, wisdom of the ancients. Okay. I mean, at any moment here, Sen could try running, you know. Yep, you stupid fool. You have never even thought about it. And obviously, he's split into two, you know. So he's planning to meld with the planet, become one with it, and have the planet meld with him. Ah, uh, hi Preston. How are you? Hope you hope you hope you're well. And you're right. That's what it is. Delusion, delusional as af, uh, af. You're totally right, my friend. I mean, what happened is what happens when you um realized, like your whole life is basically a lie and an experiment done by an evil organization. Really, can you blame him? <laughs> I still say that, like I said before, he is arguably one of the. Who this ever designed in that, like, proper bad guy in most computer games? I, I, I think he's, like, Sephiroth himself is brilliant. And you sort of understand where his descent into madness comes from. Yep. Sephiroth is here. He's down in this, that little area. And... Uh, you look at the pool, you'll see him coming through. That. Okay, so we carry on, guys. Hey, it's this guy. Think he heals you? Yeah, so you can rest. You can also save. Now, whether or not we're able to get that one chest that we're unable to see, I don't know. Or that we're able to see but unable to get to. Oh, I forgot about this puzzle. Okay. Was it Preston? It was only because he was told his mother's name was Genova. Yeah? I mean, if he was told a similar thing to like all of the soldiers, like the infused Mako, but they say, we infuse you with Mako and some other stuff, right? And just didn't tell him who his mother was. 
He probably wouldn't have went nuts when he saw the Genova thing in the um in the mountain. Okay, so. See there. Now on each one of these, some have stuff, some don't. So this has nothing, it's a dead end. But what we really want to do is not go the correct way. We want to cover everywhere first. I move it myself. Uh, speed up time. Yep. Let me go here. Well, that was a dead end as well, guys. Right, let me go around. Back out, back in. Move around time. Okay, I want to go here. I'm sure if you go the correct way, it will stop you from searching the other corridors. Just trying to just make sure I don't go... Right, cool, an item. Mega Elixir. Nice. Alright, let me proceed again, move around the clock. Was that Preston? You don't know if this was mentioned yet, so it might be a spoiler for some people. But the soldiers were infused with Genova cells instead of Mako. I don't think it was fully mentioned. Um, you do find out a bit in the flashback. So in Calm, you do see that there was experiment with the Genova bit. But it wasn't fully explained, I don't think, at the time. That it was all, all the soldiers. But I don't think it's a spoiler. Hi, um, Gilhelm. What is Mako? Well, Mako is the term for the basically the lifeblood and the energy of the planet. So, in the planet, there's like all this liquid goo stuff, and that's Mako, and the evil organization uses that to like empower stuff and and all that. It also like concentrated Mako what forms materia, which is the magic stuff that you use in the game. And soldiers believed that that was in, put in them to make them almost like a super soldier. But what we find out is it's actually the Genova cells that caused it. It was that Avraz, was Genova ever fought? In the past, Genova was fought by the original ancients. And then it was defeated. And then what happened was... I think it was Shinra themselves found found the um like the remains of it and believing I'm not sure if they fully believed it was an ancient but believing it was something of power type thing they obviously used that to empower people which is where Sethroth came from and you find out a lot of that in Nibelheim ah uh, cool this was here equip uh, do, 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 do. A ribbon is arguably the best accessory you can get because it basically nullifies any bad effect that's going to be done on you. It's absolutely brilliant. We have that on there. Back in we go. Right. So we now want to keep moving the clock. And we keep working round because it's it's either twelve o'clock or six o'clock that I'm sure we have to get to. Is that Gilham? You heard uh, that Final Fantasy Ten and Seven were connected. Are they in the same universe? Or maybe it's false. I think it's false because I played Ten, and well, I played I played pretty much all by the online ones, and. There's not really like a connecting storyline between them. Um, in 10, eventually I'll play 10 on this channel as well. So like, after I get like, work through. But um, number 10 is set in a like different place and they fight in a thing called Sin. 
And it's all about basically how summons and things are done in order to like change and shape the world. Yeah, like Preston just said, yeah, he, think, he thinks it's fault. It's only because some person named Shinra, yeah. That's the thing. Uh, I mentioned to Avraz earlier, a lot of the Final Fantasy games like have the same names for different things all the way through. Like all of them have Biggs and Wedge. They have a Sid or the Summons, which is why it can get confusing thinking they're all in the same place. What's that, Avraz? Final Fantasy 16 is coming. I know. I'm totally looking forward to it. I mean, it, it will be... I mean, technically, I do basically old retro games. That's what, basically what we do in this channel. So, do you reckon I can get away with like playing it a day after launch and saying a day after the retro? <laughs> I'll probably do it anyway, you know. What's that, Gilhelm? Uh, it is because intent, yeah. Yeah, Preston mentioned that there's a guy called it. But, like I said, yeah, and Preston just said there, yeah. It was probably an Easter egg. But it's like, in most of the games, there's like proper connecting names. So, like a lot of them link through. So you hear a name in one and you think it could be connected to the other. Oh, bad guy. What's that swag? Do I have a PS5? Yes, I'm actually currently playing on my PS5. I'm playing a retro game on a PS on a PS5. I mean, I get proper use out of a PS5 playing retro games. <laughs> yeah, and like Preston said, there chocobos are in every Final Fantasy. It's like um, if you play through all the Final Fantasies, an Easter egg like everyone likes and everyone likes to find is the Bigs and Wedge ones. Obviously, they're quite easy to find in number seven because the two members of Avalanche. I think in number eight, there's two bad guys called it and all that. And the Bigs and Wedge Easter egg, it's actually originally a Star Wars Easter egg. And that's because Bigs and Wedge in Star Wars were the original wingmen of Luke Skywalker in the first Star Wars movie. So they were put in this game as like an Easter egg to that. Uh, knock that up a bit. As a person, yeah, they're in every Final Fantasy. But I doubt the games are linked. Yeah, I think I think it's just like a lot of Easter eggs for people to like, like and reference and go, hey, that was in that game. It's like a lot of um, a lot of the weapons. So like Ultima Weapon, I think that's in all the games as well. I'm not sure if it's in all the games. It's definitely in most of the games. Was it Avraz? There is a secret that can let you travel out of boundary to other places. Okay, didn't know that. What's that, G G Gilhelm? Have you played Final Fantasy IX? Yes, that's the one with... I want to say his name was Zidane. The, the, the little... Where, where it's the flying... It's like the flying troop and they go and they steal the princess... And he has a tail, and you've got you got one of the hardest, you got one of the hardest. Yeah, the like person said, yeah, it's Zidane. Yeah, it has one of the hardest trophies to ever get. I think me and Preston were on about it before. Um, I think it was a, like a few weeks ago, where there's a trophy where you have to do a skip the skip challenge with um, Vivi. That that was hard. The skip challenge with Vivi. I still don't think I'll be able to get that. <laughs> yeah, I Garnet or Dagger. I think that was the same one. Yeah, that's the that's the one. The one thousand jumps. Oh, I hated, hated doing those that that like those side things. I, I still haven't got it. The one thousand jumps. I think you said I should probably do like a script to make it do it itself on the PC. I I, I remember you said that you you did that. Um, you did that, Preston. I can't do that. I can't bring myself to, um... I can't bring myself to do that. I'll, I'll have to stand there pressing the button a thousand times. <laughs> I 
But it is quite a, like, number nine is a good one. What's that? The final boss is so unfair in number nine. Can't remember what the final boss is in nine. What's that? Otherwise, what happened to the ancients? Um, They were all killed out. I think, I'm not sure if they just died naturally. I think you find out a bit later on. I can't quite remember. But um, basically, Genova basically tried to kill the ancients, I think. Yeah. Sorry, I got put off there because Preston just said Final Fantasy IX is better than seven. No, six. No, seven. You did say seven. Preston. I mean, how 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 could you say that, Preston? We, we all know seven seven's the pinnacle. What's that, Gilham? You've never played seven, so you don't know if nine. Is, no, trust me, nine's not better. Oh damn, this is the one. I, right, back out. Okay, so we want to. Uh, Spin this all the way around. So there. But yeah, the, the ancients died out, um, Avraz. Oh, is this the place? Oh, that may be the place. Damn it, this was the place. I should have went to the other one first. It's locked. You have to catch it. Okay. It's tired, yeah. Okay. The guard has the key to the door, memorize the pattern, all that stuff. Okay. We're heading back up to the top. What's that? Uh, Preston Final Fantasy 13 is a lot better than 7. I do like I do like 13. But that's because, you know, lightning is just amazing. What's that, Gilhelm? We have to say 9 is better than 10, 6, 4, and 12. I like six. Ten was okay. What's that? You're joking. Well, you know, uh, you, you never know if you're joking or not because, you know, Lightning, Lightning is a great protagonist in number 13. And six is really good. Yeah, I like six. But... I, I will probably say, I might have to agree with you, Gilhelm. I might say, I probably prefer nine to them ones. But overall... This is where I want to jump off. Uh, jump off. Worker club. I'm sure there's a sniper rifle I haven't picked up. There might be an item we've missed, guys. Uh, in your opinion, uh, your problem with six is the party members. Okay. I think some of them are okay. Uh, ten seems to be really good. You, have, you haven't really played ten. Well, I think... Um, Titus becomes a bit annoying. He does become a bit annoying. But the blitz ball thing in it is quite good. What's it, Avraz? Avraz? There is a quest line where you can beat a fat chocobo in 15. Cool. I mean, a fat chocobo is, um... God, I have to catch this guy. But, um... Yeah, the fat chocobo... Comes out in the Choco Mog summon in this as well. As a Gilhelm, play 10. It is a great game, a great story. Yeah, I mean, I like number 10. I prefer 10 to 10 too. But I would say if you play 10, do play the sequel. And, um. I'll honestly say, it's not that I don't like 10. I just think, I think like 7 and 9 are better than 10. And the main, my main issue with 10 
is um is Titus. <laughs> ah no! Damn it. We'll make it back up there in a sec. Hang on, guys. Come on. Come on. Right, so now we go in here. Yeah, I think there's a gun that I missed somewhere. Because I'm always sure that there was a gun for Vincent in here. But we're not fussed about that, you know? Hello, Kilhelm. Tired is okay, protagonist in the beginning, but by the end. He grows, grows a lot. True, but that the whole um, no no, little minor spoiler, I right? not like a major spoiler, uh, but the whole um, the whole laughing scene, that that annoyed me. <laughs> What's that, Avaz? After finishing Dark Souls, are you planning on playing mods? No, after I finish Dark Souls 3, I'll be moving on to um, Sekiro, Shadow Dies, twice, uh, Shadow Dies Twice, which will be a blind playthrough of that. Because I've never played that before. <laughs> you know, I, I really know how to like chill out on the um, last three days of the week. So Preston, your internet went down because of a thunderstorm, so you're using data. Oh no! You don't want to waste your data, so you have to go. That's okay, Preston. Again, thanks for coming along. And anytime you miss stuff, remember, YouTube keeps everything on a VOD, so you can always catch up. But it's always great when you turn up. The next Final Fantasy will be Monday. We have Monkey Island. No, we don't have Monkey Island Sunday. So we've got Dark Souls at the end of the week. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then Final Fantasy again, Monday, Tuesday, next week. What's that, Kilhelm? Last scene, you thought Titus was going crazy. Yeah, because it's such a... I know he's trying to force Yuna to laugh during that scene. But it's it's so... it's so Because it's a forced laugh, and it's so... I feel it's so cringy. And I'm watching going, I don't like that. But you have to admit, though, uh, like, Orin in Final Fantasy X... Orin as a party member is one of the coolest party members you can get. What's it, Avraz? It's 11.38pm for you. Oh, that's late. Well, thank you for coming along, Avraz. And, and have a good night, you know. That is really late over there. I tend to go to bed by 10. <laughs> okay, so he disappears. We carry on through. I think... I think we get... I think there's actually two fights in here. And I'm also tempted to say... Don't... No, no one quote me on this and have a look. But I'm, I'm sure we get... A summon from defeating the first bad guy in here. Does that kill him? Or in best character? Yeah, by far. He's one of my... Like, Oren's one of my favourite... Like party members, I think it's because he has that air of confidence, the coolness, and then his story throughout is great. And then if you get his like best weapon and his best um, the best stuff on him, he like kills pretty much everything, especially if you keep him like low on his life. I'm sure with Orin, I'm sure I had Orin pretty much solo the um. Final boss battle in number 10. Right, I'm sure he goes, and I'm sure there's a, a fight coming up shortly. But obviously, he wants the Black Materia. We go a little bit nuts. I'm sure as we go this way, I'm sure, I'm sure there's a dragon battle. I'm sure Cloud. Ah, uh, here he goes. Going a bit into uh, insanity. You 
go. Got to be this mural depicts the ancients, and that's meteor coming down. I remember the first time I played this and this type of stuff when this type of bit was going on in this game that you're like what, what's happening as, as he like brainwashed you or something yeah exactly Gilhelm cloud is going crazy it, it's like when you play through and you did the flashback and calm when you see Cloud doing that, you sort of go, oh no, is he going the same way as Sethroth? Is he going to be... end up being bad? The meteor falling from sky. Okay, so here I think a dragon comes in. Is it a dragon? It is a dragon. Okay. So we hit it with... We hit it with a slow. He does a regen. And then we do big guard. That's arguably one of the best combos to do at the beginning of a battle. You hit the enemy with a slow. Means that's slowed down. Big uh, regen on you. So you have the ticking up life. Big guard because it does a magic barrier... A ordinary barrier, so a half the magic damage and ordinary damage. And then regen, because basically when it hits, your life's pretty much going to go back up to max. Then you just keep all that topped up. First we hit it with Shiva. I'm, gonna, I'm stealing with Aerith, just to see if it has anything to steal. Because I can't remember if any of these bosses have stuff to see, steal or not. But... It's always okay to waste one round to see if you can steal anything. There you go, nothing to steal. We hit in there with that. Get another Shiva out. She's got a Ramu, so we'll do Ramu. Oh, actually... We've got Bio. So I think we can hit it with Bio and poison it. I think it's poisonable. What's that, Kilhelm? Region is good in every Final Fantasy game, you think? Yeah, it is, it is phenomenal because putting that on, you then don't have to worry about healing until you see it drop off. Because most damage, you can mitigate it to a part where regen has it basically covered. And we'll hit it with an Odin as well. Ice Swag. Remember how to make Gold Bird, uh, the Golden Chocobo? I do. I also, I also know a trick to do it without having to race the Chocobos. So when we get to that part in the game, I'm going to show everyone how I breed the Chocobos in order to make the Golden Bird, while just having Tifa as a party member. So, like, as the leader before like doing any major races. Because there's a little trick you can do, and then you can breed, and you always get the um, you always get the one that you the need, and you breed up to the um, it's like you capture, you feed, you breed, you fight, you breed, you fight, like stuff like that, all the way up. And obviously, we need the golden chocobo in order to get the um, nice to the round material. Which is a... It's one of the best materials, like one of the best summons, Knights of the Round. But the thing is, it doesn't half have like a really long, one of the longest animations there is. What's that, Gilhelm? After 7, are you going to play 8 or a different Final Fantasy game? It will be 8. So every Monday and Tuesday, I'm going through the Final Fantasy games that I have. So on... so. We had recently just gone through the new one, the Final Fantasy Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origins. 
And then seeing the trailer for the remake of the Final Fantasy coming through, I was like, okay, I'm going back and I'm replaying the Final Fantasies. So we started with seven. We're then going to go on to eight, then nine, then 10, 10, two, so on and so forth, trying to get through them all, as well as doing the second part of the remake when that comes out. We have a sort of silent playthrough of the remake on the channel dump per chapter but i don't speak and you don't see me in it so it's just basically just playing through the game that's what i wanted but yeah we're gonna go through all of them you know we'll, we'll replace chocomog with it after that that goes up but yeah so every monday and tuesday on our channel is like dedicated to final fantasy games at the minute because we do like, like our channel is basically retro, as I like to say, retro-ish, like um, live streams. So Sundays we do like a real retro game, like proper old. We're currently going through Monkey Island 2. Monday, Tuesday, we're going through a lot of Final Fantasy. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's when I play a game that I haven't played before. And we're currently going through Dark Souls 3, like a blind playthrough of that. But that Final Fantasy 8 is really long has really long summon animations it does and i think one of the things with the final fantasy 8 as well is where you have the boost in it so you have to push in the select and you have to constantly tap the um normally the square in order to boost up the damage of them but it does final fantasy 8 has what i think one of the best looking summons which is diablo where all those bats come together to make the orb and then the demon diablo comes out puts his hand in throws it down I mean, it does rubbish damage. Like, I think it's just like Demi. So it doesn't do great damage, but it is, I think, look-wise, it just looks amazing. I will shake it. Oh no, the temple's shaken. Okay, we will... Ah, she's asking the ancients, guys. Yep, the temple itself is the black materia. If you want to take it, you have to shrink down the temple. But really, what they should do is just leave it. <laughs> yep, whoever solves it is going to get crushed. There's only one thing for it. Eris, you stay behind. Oh, no, wait. What's that Final Fantasy VIII was your least favourite because of the level system? Yeah, the whole, um, it was the whole GF thing where you had to, to draw stuff out of stuff and then put stuff in. So, I mean, it wasn't the best. It wasn't the best leveling system. I will agree with you there. But to me, the wor one of the worst parts in it was the, the card game. Like, if you wanted certain bits, you had to, to make sure you did the card game and try getting every character card and all that stuff in order to see the person that owned all the cards in order to get another stuff. I, I despise the card game. All right, so Keith Seath is coming down here. He's going to fiddle with the stuff. I mean, we can trust him. He's everyone's favorite character, you know. Okay, so from that, we just need to leave. I think there's a... a yeah, so we're fighting our way up, and I'm sure there's another fight just before we get out. Aqualung should kill these. That's the thing. Like, like in this, the enemy skill materia... Once you get certain enemy skills... Ah! Oh, how did that... Well, that, that's water. They're dragons. Okay. Maybe trying then. Yeah, enemy skill is arguably one of the... Um, in my eyes, one of the best material in the game. Because you get heals in it. You get barriers in it. You get magic that attacks everything in it.
I'm sure I'm sure we've got one more fight on the way out. I'm also pretty sure we can speak to yeah, we can speak to this guy. You need to make it out, strange elephant hat guy thing. Get a little save just in case we die on the way out. Because it is there is one more battle. We head out here. Yeah, see, now this doesn't turn. You have to go now. Bye. Okay, Gilhelm, thanks for coming along. Um, just so you know, for the rest of the week, um, if you want to come back, we have Dark Souls 3, a blind playthrough, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Final Fantasy will return on Monday. And that will be when we go through to, like, the City of the Ancients and stuff like that and start heading north. Like, the day is solely just for this temple. But thanks for coming along. Thanks for keeping your company today. Yep. Never great cloud when you touch something and it's warm like that. Okay, so here we go. So it's like a giant evil wall thing. So first thing we do, again, we put regen on. We cast slow on that. We cast big guard on ourselves. Again, best way to hit any combat situation in this. Slow on the enemy. Regen on yourself. Big guard to knock up all the defenses and make yourself quick. And now we just go ham on it. Damn it, I got a miss at the end. Dang. I say regular damage, I think, does a lot of lot on it. We'll steal with Aerith, because it's okay to waste one round just to make sure it doesn't have any items on it. We just attack. I'm pretty sure just attacking should be... Um... Yeah, look at the damage. And we just keep an eye on the barrier and the regen. That's all we really need to do. It can do status effects. Obviously, Cloud's immune to a lot. It can do, like, a Petrify. But Aerith does have a Sooner, which can cure it. But as you can see there, one limit break of Tifa, a couple of ordinary hits with everybody, dies quite quick. That's all up. An armlet. Hey, there he is. Now, he's going to go down. And he's going to fiddle with the um, cube, making the temple smaller. Causing himself to, to like die in the process. But at the end of the day, he's just a cuddly toy, really. Oh, we don't want to... Aerith, there's no time. We don't want to know our fortune. We want him to go down and get it sorted. Oh, oh look, look, she's made Tifa upset now. Okay. Hopefully you'll say... This isn't good. I oh, can't say it. Oh, don't say poor Tifa. Looks good. You're perfect for each... No! Oh, well, we want it, guys. Thank you for believing it. We don't believe in you. If we believed in you, you know, we know you're going to die down there. And you're just a cuddly toy. You're a remote-controlled cuddly toy. Go on, get up, do. Unless it's, I think it's probably just the body, the top bit. Actually, no, I think that's a toy as well, to be fair. Oh, it's to the right. It's to the right, Keith Seath. Yep, then he fiddles with it. The 
really, so inside of the materia, he's, like, crushed. Don't forget you. We won't forget you. What was his name again? Frank. We won't forget you, Frank. And that's it. Crushed himself inside of that. Trying to make amends. It's down there. Yeah, the black materia. Yep. People will wait there. And we'll just jump down, take Aerith with us. Look at we have this. Seth will be exactly cloud. Here's where he goes nuts again. We're about to go nuts again. <laughs> promised land. Hey, so we have to take it to the promised land. Exactly. So he shouldn't be able to find the promised land. She can. He's far superior. Oh no! Traveler of the life stream. He's got all the knowledge. He's got all the knowledge of everything that's in the life stream. Again, like mentioned before, that those who don't know, life stream is like the blood of the planet where everyone's souls basically go, and knowledge is what Mako energy is that the the Shinra is sucking up out of the planet. Look now, now we're a little kid version. Way, way. Hey, hey, stop. I'm a little kid. Obviously, you can try to block it, block Cloud, but it won't, won't work. It won't work. He knows the tension to his little self. And he just makes it. Hey, just went into him. Oh, no. Oh, he gave it to Sethwath. That wasn't the right thing to do, Cloud. People up there all ready for a fight. Yep. Obviously he's a bit shaken of what he's done, but you know. We can still stop him. Oh no, now, now he's beating up he's beating up Aerith. That's not what you do. Tifa, come down here. Stop him. Cass Cassie's number two, shut up. Tifa, stop me. That's it, Tifa. What did I do? I don't remember a thing. Remember me since when? Everything's a dream. Don't wake me. Ah, it's some woods. Oh, there's Aerith. Must be playing hide and seek. Howard, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Sorry for don't just say sorry. You gave you gave a destructive materia to a very bad person, and then you attacked her for no reason. And she seems to be teleporting. She's a witch. Ah, it's okay. You can relax, guys. Aerith is gonna handle Sephiroth. But we can go to the gold saucer, we can gamble. We can watch chuggabos. We will, don't worry. Take care of ourselves. Yep, what is this place? Now she tells us, I think it's the forest north, yep. Sleeping forest. This is the city of the ancients. She's going to go up there, find out what she can. Try to stop Sethroth by herself. Yep, 
Okay, catch you later. Catch you later. Bye. Cloud, you, you can't catch up by running another spot. I mean, he's not the best, is he? Oh, she's gone now, mate. Gone, Cloud. Hmm, so she'll be going to interfere. It'll be a difficult one, don't you think? I was listening all the time. I... Okay, we're going to have to stop him then. He's going after Aerith. Hey, look, it's Barret. Hey, Barret. Why were you watching me when I slept? You know, that wasn't nice. Okay, you're having a nightmare. Of course, Barret, you're standing over me. Uh, I seem to be okay. That's good. Man, I don't know what was going to happen. I know Aerith has gone. Gone to the City of the Ancients. She told me in a dream. Trust me. The ancients, yeah, same. That's right, we are going to go. Yep. How? Is that like. So they don't find it weird that Cloud knows all this information, yet all he's been doing was sleeping. It is your fault, Cloud. I mean, Cassis number one died. I mean, we didn't care much for him, but he died anyway. How many people in the world do you think? Well, you know, everybody. Everyone by Cloud. Everyone by Cloud understands himself about it. Actually, so they're going to go anyway. So, Cloud, you're going to have to get up. Get up, Cloud. And Tira, give him a little time. Okay. They're going to head off. Let me head out. Yeah, they literally just waited outside the inn. And what happens is we go out and it's time to head north to the City of the Ancients. It's just a common atmosphere. They say, don't worry. Don't worry that you betrayed us, Cloud. Don't worry that you gave the material that would destroy all life on the planet to an evil sociopath. That's all fine, Cloud. Don't worry that you attacked Aerith. That's fine, too. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is where we're going to leave today's stream. Thanks, everyone, for coming along. Thanks, everyone, for keeping me company in the chat. So Preston, Avraz, and... Skylim there. Thanks to all you guys for coming along. Thanks to everyone who also watches this on playback. We will be continuing Final Fantasy VII, the original Final Fantasy VII, on Monday at 1800 hours for its standard time. If we've already done it and you're watching it on playback, it will appear down the bottom left of your screen. Feel free to click it and move on to the next episode. The rest of this week, so tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, we will be doing a Dark Souls 3 blind playthrough. Where we've been going through Dark Souls 3, we've been able to kill a boss every night. So if you want to come along to that live stream, feel free to come along. As I said before, Final Fantasy 7 will return on Monday. So hopefully catch you all then. Goodbye. And stay.